chimes themselves. So let's just grab all these parts and hide that selection. Okay. Now, uh, I guess I'll start off by showing you the way you should not do it. <laughs> um, let's uh, create a little tube here and center that up. Okay, let's put a uh, gray texture on there. Okay, and then we can right click this and convert this to an edible poly. And then we're going to go here and create a cylinder. And we'll just create a small cylinder here. Excuse me. And then we're going to just drag it in there. Get the radius a little smaller. Make sure it punches through both sides. We're going to grab this. Here, two compound objects, Boolean, and then we'll pick operand B, and we'll do that. And that's not what you want, okay? Um, punching a hole through something with Boolean most of the time does not work, okay? So let's show you how we should do it. All right, let's go back standard primitives and let's create a plane in the front view and we'll make it 16 segments uh, width segments and f uh, four length segments okay let's uh, zero that out let's throw this gray texture on here Just material I mean uh, I always call it a texture it's actually a material Okay, hit F4, and let's throw an edit poly on there. Now let's begin by grabbing these points. Let's drag those up to about where you want the top of the hole to be. Right here where you want the middle here for the bottom. Okay, let's grab that middle point, zoom in. Okay, with that still selected, let's go ahead and hit chamfer. Let's chamfer that out. Okay, let's scroll down here to cut, and then click on the point and drag to the edge all the way around. Try to get it in the center. Point, drag over to the edge and do that for all these sides. Okay, now let's move over and let's go back to edit poly. Let's grab this turn off cut. Let's grab this vertice and let's chamfer that. And then let's go to the other side and let's grab this and chamfer this. Okay. Now let's do that same cut. So let's do a cut from this point to here, from this point to here. Okay, let's move over to the other side. Same thing. And from here to here, turn off cut. Now let's grab these vertices. Let's just grab one at a time. Let's kind of move that out until we get kind of the shape of something round. Okay, and you can take a lot more time with this, really get this nice and round, but uh, I don't want to spend all day. Okay, let's go up here, go to scale. Let's scale these out a bit scale these ones out a bit and then let's move them down a bit let's grab these move these up a bit okay let's grab polygon mode grab these three polygons which you just created here and let's delete those zoom out okay now let's go up here put a 
mesh smooth on there. Let's put a bend on there. Let's hit the X axis. And let's bend that 360 on X. Okay, now let's put an edit poly on top of that. Go to vertice mode, vertex mode. Just grab these ones right down the back. Let's zoom in so we can get that. Grab these ones. Okay. And then let's hit weld. And you can see we had 344, now we have 334, so we welded 10 points. Okay. Hit F4. There you have a nicely punched hole through both sides. Now what we can do is go up here. Let's put a shell modifier on there. Very nice. Okay. So now we have this tube that has a hole punched through it. Okay, what we need to do is we know that the length of this is one foot. So I'm just going to drag that tape measure out to one foot. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to scale it. Let's just scale it down. And then let's just move it up to where this this is that tape measure. Okay, and let's move it over a little bit. Scale it a little bit more until we get it to about one foot. A little bit bigger. Okay. That's good enough for government work. Okay, let's turn that off. Let's center this again. Okay. Now let's go up here to our display. Unhide all. Okay, so now we want this chime to fit in here. So we're going to scale it down like so. We have to put five of these around this. Let's see how that looks. Okay, let's just go back here. Let's find our tape measure again. Let's do one foot. Okay. Now let's grab this. Put another edit poly on there. Grab these bottom vertices and drag that down to one foot. We get rid of the tape measure. And I think we can just pull this up a little bit here. Okay. So now we want to make sure that these holes are correct. So we need to rotate this 90 degrees. Okay. Now make sure that this is not touching that bottom one. And then what we'll do is do an array to create the other four. There are five total. So let's go here, effect pivot, center the object, and we want to pull that pivot up so that it's going to be right near that hole, because that's where it's going to uh, hang from. Okay, so we have our first one in. Let's uh, rename this <coughs> Chime 01. Okay, and then let's save whole thing and wood and chime okay and when we come back in the next video we're gonna do the array on all of these and then um, each one of them is a little bit different size so the tallest one is uh, 12 and then we'll go 12 maybe 10 9 7 6 whatever and we'll have all five of those done so let's uh, come back in the next one and finish this up thanks